Welcome everyone to the Monster Hunter Wilds beta on Steam. Today we're jumping into this for the first time. I did play a little bit of Monster Hunter World back when that initially launched, but I could never really get into it. But something about this one and the gameplay that I've seen so far has got me really interested. So just be aware I'm going in as somebody that kind of played a little bit of World, but I want to give it a new try. It's been a few years since I even last tried that. So no better time than with the beta. So with that said, let's uh, get this started here. We're playing at just about high settings for everything. So just to give you a, a reference point for that too. By the way too, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving likes help a ton wherever you're watching. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what we got. I know we got a decent amount of character customization here. So let's uh try going through this we got a bunch of different presets i'm not gonna go too in depth with the character customization since it is just the uh a beta but i i've seen what people like there's definitely a lot in here if you really want to go into it um oh my god oh that is a shock really pulls you right in let's see though i'll at least go like hair and beard and all of that the classic stuff so i'm pretty sure i know what weapons i'll try using during this too i don't know if this is going to be like a one part episode or if there's going to be more to this i'm not sure how long this actually ends up going but i guess we'll find out one way or another we shall find out Okay, so that's your hair detail settings. I'll leave it there. Confirm, so F is confirmed. Right click is back, there we go. Let's go eyebrows. Nice, I like how you can click into it and then see them all. Go with these. Black once again. Okay, eye color. Go with some green eyes, maybe a little bit. Yeah, right there. The facial hair. What do we got here? Okay, so there's two types. You got beard type and mustache type. Music here sounds pretty good. Try this one. Okay, so you can like pull the classic every single time, every game that I always play, it's always the same. <laughs> it's just how I am. I'm very basic, okay? All right, that's just how I am. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I kind of like the fuller, like not the extremely full one, but I like the... Uh, let me see. What's this one look like? I like this, but man, got so much like uh, neck beard there too. Like if this was trimmed up a bit and you just had like not all the way, but just a little bit, it'd be great. But whatever. I think that's good enough. Uh, We got face shape. Yeah, there's a lot you can do here. If you really like molding your characters, there's always a good amount. Physique, what do we got? Muscle mass. We'll go like 12. You know what? Let's get crazy. Ripped. All the way. He's going to need it for where I'm going with this. That's all the color. Oh, that's cool. So you can see all of the color settings from right here. Interesting. Now, I watched Lyric try to play this on 
PS5. And it was running a little weird on it. I don't know if it was just him or what. But I did see you can actually change a lot of the clothing that you have here, which is cool. So we'll take a look at that in a second. How many voices are there? Six? Impressive, thanks. This is serious. All right, we'll go with that. Sure. And then there's voice pitch. Confident. Graceful. Real confident. Clothing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice. This is all innerware. Detailed settings. I mean, hey, slay. So that's, wait, is that underclothes? Oh, you could add underclothes. Let's see, show tight. Starting armor. You have hope. Oh my God, look at them calves. Jesus. Whew. Detailed. Okay, so you can change the two here. I think you're able to. Is it under this? I, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can change the color of your starting clothing or armor. Clothing color, or is this your current shirt? I'm just gonna go black out. Oh, actually, maybe that thing can be. All right, this is pretty accurate. This is pretty accurate right now. Cause all I wear is black. Lore accurate me. Hold on, wait. Okay, we'll give it a little bit. Boom. But that's only underneath. I don't know about the... I don't think you can do the starting armor. Okay. That's good. Now we got to do the, the palico. What do we got? Presets. One. Oh, these are all cute, man. Oh. Oh, God. This is devious. Oh, the floppy ears are always so cute. I've never had a cat before, but I've always gone to like friends that have cats and and all that. And I've always wanted one. I've always had dogs in my family, which I love dogs. Honestly, this I mean this this one's pretty cute. I like this guy. So fuzzy. Long hair. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's do this. Big muse. Uh, yeah. Woohoo! Let's do this. Big muse. I don't know whether to do the feline language or not. I think we might. What about the ears? Okay, let me see. What if we did the... Is it not that kind? Oh. Five. All right, we'll leave it like this. I think this is fine a good start let's hit it maximum number of characters is 15 in the beta input text will be visible to many 
uh, people and may be saved by others. Go casts. Yes. And your Palico's name? Uh... Plays. We're just gonna go plays. <laughs> this play is okay, yes. Select the amount of tutorials you wish to see, yet honestly display all. Show me everything right now. Choose whether to allow certain tutorials on display more than others. On. Confirm and quit. Yes. Alright, let's see how this is. I did see the player count on PC has like jumped by massive numbers. Now, granted, it's free. Let's Anybody can download it. But it was at like 200,000 ish. Windward Plains. Nothing so far. Hi. Oh, hey there. Hey! Over here! <laughs> Over here, Hunter! Your reputation precedes you, Hunter. I trust you know what I've called you here to discuss. Yes, sir. The Forbidden Lands? Indeed. But more precisely about the boy we rescued in the vicinity. Entry to the region itself has been restricted for a thousand years. We thought it completely uninhabited. Any remnants of its ancient civilization rest solely in historical record. Now imagine our surprise to have discovered this boy. He claimed to be part of a clan, the Keepers. He said they have a village in a land we thought uninhabited for ages. A few years have passed, but the Academy, of course, has remained skeptical. This village, is there evidence it exists? Nothing absolute, but the mysterious composition of the boy's pendant suggests it might. And... As for how we came to rescue the boy... Sir? It seems a certain monster had forced him to flee. It attacked his village, and he escaped alone. Unfortunately, the underground tunnel he used to make his escape collapsed. We found him, took him in, and here we are. Do we know the status of the village? Unknown. And of the monster? Unknown. However, the scholars hypothesize that it may be a monster which we thought to have perished long ago. An extinct species? They're calling it the White Wraith. The Guild has authorized the rescue of the Keepers and an investigation into this monster. I've selected you as a lead hunter for this expedition. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Finding sir. Finding the village won't be easy. You'll need the proper guide. Speaking of which, I have an extra assignment for you. Hello, my name is Alma. Come on, it's okay. And you? As soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. All right. I hope we find them soon. Agitated. Could they be chasing something? It's a person! Bring us closer! And crash right into them! Then what do we do? Uh, hold on. What's that? 
That's our ride. Can you reach it? I have to try. Mission Chapter Hold One. On. All right. Follow the the girl. I feel like it's auto moving me. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's doing it by itself. Okay. The only thing I'm controlling right now is the camera. Even this. the monster and fire the screen screen pod let's go get him out of there let's get out of here So we pull them in for the ammo for the screamer pod. Oh, oh they're up there too? These. safe now yeah so much for this region being uninhabited it must be a type of white Isai he's still in trouble Isai we were doing sacred practice but then it came What came? One of the things that was chasing you earlier? <laughs> it's okay. And your brother, where is he? <laughs> he told me to run. And he stayed. Sounds
sounds like trouble, yeah? Can you tell us where he is? The sacred. He knows Isai's scent. Let's find him. I'm with you. Everyone else, focus on scouting for a campsite. Mm. Understood. Just send a signal if you need backup. <laughs> we'll leave some supplies for you. I'll keep an eye on these two. Mm -hmm. We're moving out. It's coming. Please, take these people to save his side. We're counting on you. Come with me, okay? Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Be careful out there. We will. <laughs> Please say see ya. Just in case. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty cool intro there. More cinematic than I was expecting it to be so far. I like that though. All right, talk to Alma. Oh, that's right. Have you decided on a weapon? I have. So, damn, there's 14 weapon types. For those of, the, of you that have been watching, or for those of you that are new, I personally like a lot of uh, Wonderful. ranged weapons yourself, a lot of times. Right? And I think that's probably one of the issues that I had with Worlds. I don't know if they had a bow or anything like that, but... Back then, I think the closest thing I used was an instant insect glaive or maybe even the tool, the dual blades. Uh, but today, we're going to be going with the bow. The light bow gun and the heavy bow gun are, are interesting. I think you can get, if I'm remembering correctly, you can get a secondary. So if I were to get a secondary, it would be between probably the heavy bow gun the light bow gun, or maybe even the dual blades, depending on how I really wanted to play it out. Uh, but for right now, we're going to start with the bow, and I'm going to see if I like that. Uh, because some of the the bow kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Dragon's Dogma, in a way. We'll see how this is. Once you've got a feel for the weapon, we'll head out. Alright, how do I actually... Okay, so you pull it out like that. Got it. Take the shot. Got a quick shot. Power shot. Power volley. We got dragon piercer. It's... Wait. R and F. That is very interesting. I mean, it's not too bad for keybind wise, I guess. Um, interesting. Let's see, mount the secret. Use tab to mount your secret, and you will move automatically toward your objective. Oh, sick. I kind of like it. I mean, personally, when it comes to, like, movement and stuff like that. I don't mind auto move a lot of times. Let me grab this.
Let's see how this goes. Oh, God. Okay. It's so close already. Trying to die. Or charge. Nice. I wonder how viable this is going to be. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that it's pretty good because this is definitely my preferred play style. It's just going to take a second to get used to it is all. Oh my God. Nice. It does feel pretty responsive so far. That's one of my other, my things I kind of had a little bit of an issue is like every time I would try to do stuff in uh, worlds, I just felt like I was always fighting the controls more than anything. Out of range. Okay, surprisingly, you still have to be pretty up close to these. Attack the same body, body part of a monster repeatedly to open a wound. Attacking the wound will inflict more damage, so use focus mode to target it. Alright, so it's on its head. I mean, to be fair, that's where I've been aiming most of this. So you don't have to use focus mode. Also, I think my stamina is going crazy right now. If that's what my stamina is. Press shift while holding. Uh, right click? To perform a focus strike if the attack hits a wound. It will destroy the wound, dealing a large. Okay, so that is right click. pretty good so far I mean we're still in the tutorial right so we can only get so far when the reticle turns orange while aiming this is uh, known as a critical range firing from the distance will inflict the most damage so try to keep the reticle at, as orange as you move and attack If you shoot a tracer after loading it with a left click and E, the arrow you shoot will track the tracer and hit it. You need the trick arrow gauge to load a tracer. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hello? So then my next shot is going to go to that where that tracer is. Oh jeez. I think if that if that's how I'm understanding it. Nice. 
Nice. Wow, that like full on locks. <laughs> Holy. Okay, now I feel bad. Okay, after a qu uh, quest begins, you can send SOS flares to request help from other players. You can form parties up to uh, four people. A certain amount of time passes after an SOS flare sent. No other players will join. Then support hunters will come to your aid. Support hunters are hunters from other units of the expedition team. They'll help you on hunts until other players can fill your party. Okay, that's cool. So I'll basically fill in bots until actual people. That's one thing I, I tried doing in the previous ones, too. Okay, so we use this. Let me see. We have to press this one and then go to... Where is it? Whetstone? I don't see it in here. Oh man, this is. Oh god, what is that? Okay, auto move. Okay, the auto move is actually really nice. Because they can navigate through all this mess here. At least until you get a feel for it. I missed where the SOS thing was. I thought it said in control. Hold on, let me see. Oh, I can't exactly. Oh, SOS flare. Yes. Switch from online single player to online mode. So now it's going to bring in, I see Olivia and Athos are joining. Hunter Rosso has joined the quest. But I think these are bots. Wait for stamina regen. Here we go. Alright. I keep pressing I don't know. I'm doing shift. It's definitely an adjustment. It's gonna take time to understand the controls here though. There it is. What's our next move? Get back here, you. So R is the charge shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel a little bad. Try to sleep. Jeez. 
there anywhere to hit it? I do like that you can call in bots like this, though. Especially if you're struggling a bit. Um, I think what I was trying to say earlier, though, is while playing World, I remember each time I would try to... Um, I would try to call in players. Players would never join. Or at least it never match made enough for me. So I would always be stuck on my own and fighting and chasing the the monster for like an hour making no progress it was it was a rough time <laughs> i know given time though if i did stick with it i would have got it eventually all right cool while we did that uh we can end the quest quest complete We'll take all into the box. We're over here. Check on the others. It's safe now. Ourselves. Wait, We're... wait. Hold on. Did you really do that? There's no way you should have been able to. So, how? We came because your sister said you were in trouble. Uh, Nona! Where is she? She's safe, don't worry. And they'll take you to her, all right? Any trouble finding us? None at all, thanks to your flair. You must be Isai. Oh. Please, this way. Uh, okay. Welcome back. Hey, Hunter. Already? Good work. Hey, your sister's just over there. She's been worried, Sec. Hurry. This is a pretty well protected spot. We could do a lot worse for an interim camp. This way. Just a quick check. I'm telling you, we just need some space. She's fine. But she needs half Which camp. we're perfectly capable of. <laughs> Nona! wins you see she's fine now scram go back to your station later I didn't properly thank you before everything just happened so fast I I didn't know what to say thank you so so much thank you I'm Isai. My sister and I are from a nearby village. My name is Nona. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm Alma. The others and I are here on a search. We're from a place far out west. What happened back there? How did you end up in that situation back there? Oh, 
It was all my fault. I was careless. I was helping Nona with riding practice, and the Chatacabra snuck up on us. I told Nona to run for it while I got its attention, but when my sacred and I tried to get away, he slipped, and we fell into that cave. And so, uh, who exactly are the two of you? Oh, right. We must have really surprised you earlier. Forgive me for my lack of understanding, but you use those tools? I... I've never seen anything like that before. Back where we're from, specialists use these tools to protect others from large creatures. With the understanding that they're never to be brandished at other people, of course. Only those with special permission are allowed to use them. <sighs> tools? Specialists? Permission? It's all new to me. But I'm just glad you were there. Hmm. Okay. Well, in conversation. Do to keep you talking. Let's take a look at those wounds. Okay. Chapter one's down. What else we got here? Thank you for playing. <laughs> so I saw this, uh, this part here. They tell you as if like the beta is over, but then I think there's still like a few boss new. What experience was the opening chapter of the story? There'll be plenty more where it came from. From this point on, you're free to explore the Windward Plains. We hope you enjoy the expansive world of hunting and adventure that awaits in Monster Hunter Wild. Okay. Hey there, Hunter. We've confirmed sightings of Doshagama, fierce monsters with a nasty temperament here in the plains. As it's likely they're traveling in a pack, We've been authorized to deal with the threat before it gets out of control. Dashaguna sometimes acts in packs. It can be very dangerous to hunt multiple monsters at once. The key to success is to use, make use of your surroundings by firing a large dung pod with your slinger to scatter a pack of Dashaguna so you can focus on hunting its alpha. I've marked the okay. target on your map. For now, let's make for that location. Take these two while you're at it. I'm sure you'll find them useful. Got it. A lobby has been open, allowing you to play in multiplayer with other players. Check the play guide for more information. Have you selected your weapons? If not, you can do so in the tent over there. You okay. Can equip both the primary and yeah, the I'm gonna... secondary weapon. Oh, so we can choose a secondary. Depending on the situation. So we can do it in the tent. You and your palico need to be prepared for hunts. Use your tent to change equipment and organize your item palico. Change equipment. Okay, it's right here. Oh, so it gave me the hope rifle? What is that? Hope rifle as the secondary one? I'm going to go with the heavy bow gun as the secondary for now. Hope cannon. Hope mask. Oh, so everything is just called hope, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> Mount the secret. All right, back on top of this. Where are we headed?
Hunt the Alpha Dashaguma. Let's see if we can try to do that. So now we're actually in multiplayer. That Alpha is our target. The quest will begin once you've dealt enough damage to it. Got it. The quest will begin once you've dealt enough damage to them. All right, let's try it. I keep thinking that I have my gun or my <laughs> this thing out, but I don't. Oh, God. Where's my... Vitality. This was just a bad idea. I think we need to be on our... Yeah, there it is. Come on. Get back. Get back. Give me a ride. Give me a ride. I'm trying to get on... I don't know how to get on top of it. This is not going great. I'm just going to run. Oh. I'm out of stamina. Oh my god. The skill divine blessing is activated. I mean, I can try fighting. I don't know how well this will go, but we can attempt it. Oh, I see another player. Is that another player? Or no? That's Alma. Press counter. Okay. Let me get back on my uh, secret right there. Stop auto moving. Chill out. Chill. I'm not doing anything. All right, Alma. How the hell do we do this? You want to see the quest? Yes, please. <laughs> you can access the quest counter at your tent or by talking to your handler in the settings. Okay. Lobby member quest. Optional quest. SOS flare quest. Do you want a recommended lobby? Sure. I'm happy to help anytime. So I saw lobbies can be up to like a hundred players or something like that. Something crazy, but then I think the max players you actually have is uh up to a hundred. I mean sixteen. Something like that. It's weird that the like cursor is all the way on the left side and not the center, but I, I, I understand why. Okay. Pop back on. Oh. 
What did I just join into? I feel like there's a huge storm going on right now. Take me back to the village. Fast travel. dismount I feel like I joined into a lobby that just has a really bad storm going on can you actually see anybody in here too okay so let's go map detailed map so these are all like the other bosses out here I do want to go after these, but man, they're like, they're in such a large pack together. Let's see, play guide, basic controls. I think this is the hardest part is getting used to a lot of the controls here. Really interesting, but it will take time. Quest results. All right, I'm going to just try to do it again. We'll just go out there, I guess. From my understanding, I guess we're, we're pretty much just like in free room at this point. All right, let's dismount. Begin quest. We only need to take down one. Okay, so the large dung pod will make them separate from each other. That is, I understand that's what it said earlier, but I need to figure out how to do that. Mounted weapon draw. Oh, wait, I can actually shoot like this. Okay, let's see. Wait, I think I saw it. Large dung pod. Now, how do I actually use it? Aim slinger. that how do I take my weapon back oh you unequip it
He keeps putting his weapon away. Once we actually separated them, not too bad. So it's part of a charged shot. I see. Hey, get back here. Okay, open the radial menu and select SOS. I don't see it though, but I see it here. Unless if it's just a one tap. Oh. oh God, what is happening? Are they about to go up against each other? Oh. Me the potion. Oh, you have to keep drinking it. All right, well, this is pretty intense now. Oh! Oh, X is how you can swap weapons. Get back here, you. That's right, I'm coming after you. Whoa. Oh, the storm stopped. Oh, God, but we're still getting ch chased. <laughs> Oh, it's about to get wrecked. What is that? <laughs> That's crazy. It's interesting that shooting, like holding right click, pulls out the slingshot again. on. Back on. I, I love the homing. I know I'm sure there's like a lot of people are going to say this is kind of cheese and stuff, but I don't care, man. This is fun. I've always wanted to play Monster Hunter. But it's just the all the melee classes never really like fully appeal to me. And this does feel pretty responsive right now. 
Like, it's, it's still got a little bit of a clankiness to it. But even with that, it does feel good. Let me try out the, uh, if I press X. Press it again. All right. So you swap weapons on your, oh, never mind. I swap back to my bow again. Get rid of it. The tracer. Ooh. Got it. Okay, quick, quick. Get up to it. Oh, I didn't get very far. Oh, we got the other gun now. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> the mode oh my god so i wonder if that first mode like has higher damage penetration and creates the wound and then the second one is where it, when you want to like fully open fire on it Get after him. Get back here, you. While we're running, let me heal. Okay. Oh, right here you can actually see normal ammo, level two, piercing ammo, power coating. I gathered some materials too. Check your sacred's pouch. it in I would say I like the bow probably the most so far oh man uh oh we gotta separate them again Large dung. Yeah. 
All right, they're going. I have no idea if these are actual players or if these are just bots. I'm going to guess that they are just bots because they have like just one name. I would expect like, I don't know. I didn't think it would be like Rosso or Alicia or Olivia. I'm pretty sure they're just bots. But either way, that's still pretty cool. All right, let's hit this. Dragon Piercer. I know the monsters do have like so much health to them. Opportunity strikes. No, there's another one that came over here. Got it. Hey, I got it. Man, that was hard to tell. I was actually down. Oh, you can see me running around in circles. <laughs> okay, put my weapon away. I'm trying to. How do I? How do I put it away? Marcus. Oh, do you have to like tap it a bunch of times? End quest immediately. Does it give us a rating on this? On how we did? Oh, we're about to get it. We hope you look forward to the release of Monster Hunter Wilds. Before taking on a new hunt, be sure to replenish your items at the base camp. There's nothing beats a hearty meal before challenging a formidable foe. You'd also make meals during item portable barbecue at the tent. Eating a meal will temporarily increase your health and other stats. You can also start a field survey by dealing a certain amount of damage to a monster out in the field or by selecting this icon on the map. All right, got it. me out of here no not right now game I'm trying to go back to the base here it is fast travel all right that's that's pretty quick fast travel not bad cool all right, we are actually going to chill right here. So if you guys, again, did end up enjoying this, leaving likes does help out a ton. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I do plan on checking out the full game on launch, hopefully. Um, that way we'll get a full feel for it. Maybe we'll do another episode because it does seem like there's a good amount you can actually do here. Um, we'll see, though. I don't know. For now, though, that's it. Thank you again for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for... Uh, all the usual stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode. So, uh, peace.